I first want to thank Sac City for recognizing me as a Teacher of the Year. I feel honored to receive this award. I, of course, also want to thank my wonderful husband. He told me I had to do that. No. And my parents, my handsome boys who are here tonight, and my amazing principals for coming to support me. I'll never forget when one of the college professors once rather bluntly told our class, if the only reason you're going into teaching is because of June, July, and August, then you probably better change your career path now because you will never survive. Thankfully, the summer months were not the reason that I chose teaching, though they're my favorite perk right now, but this professor's words still resonate with me all these years later and have caused me on occasion to reflect on why I did go into teaching. I'm not gonna lie, for me, this questioning usually happens when I'm at home on a weekend with 105 five-page essays or history projects scattered in front of me, begging me to stop procrastinating and start grading, reminding me I need to fill every page in with meaningful comments and suggestions that my students will value as if they're gold. <laughs> and this is when I have to admit, sometimes I daydream, what would my life be like if I was maybe like a dog walker instead of a teacher? <laughs> But the truth is, teaching has been one of my greatest joys, and since I began, I've never wanted to do anything else. It's honestly what God planned for me. This next school year will be my 20th year teaching, and I feel so blessed to have a job that I still love so much. There are so many things to love about teaching. My job is never boring, every day is different, and I'm constantly challenged to up my game and get better at what I do. But my favorite aspect of teaching is that as a teacher, I get a chance to form amazing relationships with my students, relationships that last far beyond the years that I have the kids in my class. I was so excited when Nini eagerly agreed to introduce me tonight because she is proof of the genuine relationships I get the opportunity to develop with my students. Nini came into my class as a giggly seventh grader, giggly and talkative, in fact, as she already mentioned, we didn't plan that, she spent the whole year in a front row desk right next to me so I could keep this girl in line. And while I can, uh, her nonstop talking probably drove me nuts, I can honestly say I don't remember that at all. What I do remember is talking with her, laughing with her, and how happy I always was to be around her. And 12 years later, we're still laughing together, uh, texting each other randomly throughout the month, and someday, as I tell her often, I get to go to her wedding. And this is why I teach. Every year, 105 new students walk into my classroom, and I get to spend the next year getting to know them, challenging them, encouraging them, and pushing them far beyond the expectations they've set for themselves. And ultimately, I get to the best thing, I get to laugh with them. There really is no better job. So when I'm sitting at home with those stacks of essays and projects taunting me, this is what I remember. Thank you.